wig stylists and welcome to our hot water curling tutorial. All Arta wigs are made with Hyperlon fiber, which is up to 420 degrees heat resistant. That means it can handle curling irons, flat irons, hair dryers, and you can even boil them. Though, heat resistant fibers don't style the same way as human hair does. Once the fiber has heated up, it needs to cool down before a curl or crimp will hold its shape. We already demonstrated in one video tutorial how you can use heat from regular hair styling tools to curl our wigs. This video will be demonstrating how you can also do this with boiling water. Here I've made a couple three-piece braids in different sizes. To make one of these, you just split a section into three pieces and have each side take turns going to the center. Tie the bottom with a hair tie or rubber band. I'm also going to be trying out some hair rollers. Rather than using the foam kind, I'm using a plastic roller that is hollow so I don't have foam possibly soaking up the water like a sponge. This kind comes with a duckbill clip. I just roll the hair up and use the clip to secure it to the wig's lace. Out of curiosity, I'm also going to try a rope braid. To make these, you divide a section into two pieces. Then you twist both sides in the same direction before twisting them around each other in the opposite direction. So if you turn them clockwise, you must wrap them around each other counterclockwise. I also threw in a couple large hair rollers. Since they're kind of big, I'm using additional bobby pins to help secure the hair. To prepare my workspace, I've got a large pot of water that I've brought to a boil. Right next to it, I've got a large bowl of ice water, and then next to that I have a towel. I'm not ducking my entire wig in, just the braids and the rollers, so I'll be holding the wig by the bangs. If you plan to dunk the entire thing, be sure to use some tongs so you don't burn yourself. Alright, so I'll first dunk it into the boiling water, making sure everything I've braided or rolled up is getting wet. Hold it up and let it drip a little bit before transferring it over to your bowl of ice water. Hold it up and let it drip a bit again before putting it on your towel. From here you can pat it dry or use a hairdryer to speed up the process. After letting my wig just drip dry for a few hours, I took the curls out. This is the result from the larger hair rollers. They didn't really do a whole lot, but they would be good if you just want some larger waves. The small rollers worked out really nicely. These are the rope braids after they've been brushed out. The left side was a smaller braid while the right side was a larger one. And these are the regular braids after they've been brushed out. The left side was the larger braid while the right side was a smaller one. Both the regular braids and rope braids yielded similar results. And that concludes some different methods for curling using boiling water. Thanks for watching!